Right guys, so I want to dive into something with Akash Chopra who's with me now. Facing spin in Australia and India, what's the difference? That's what we're going to find out on Hogs Vlog. Well, welcome, Akash. Thank you, mate. Now you've played in Australia, you've played right. in India, you've played a lot of, against a lot of quality spinners. What's the difference for you playing spin in Australia compared to India? Uh, a few key differences uh, is what I feel when you play spin in Australia, uh, and especially on turf surfaces, and that that's what you get on day three, four, five. Sometimes on day one as well, uh, where the ball is turning a lot, it's stopping, it's turning, it's not bouncing a lot. Uh, you don't play with the straight bat, you actually play with the flat bat. So horizontal bat shots, uh, they come to your rescue when you're playing on surfaces in India, in the subcontinent where the ball is gripping and turning. Because if you try and play with the straight bat, uh, you will uh, be found wanting. Uh, so do that, get your cuts, your pulls, your sweeps out and that's what you try to do. But when you play in Australia, uh, you need to play with the straight bat uh, because it's easier playing with the straight bat. The ball is not going to turn a great deal. Uh, so you can play down the ground quite a bit but then uh, keep one thing in mind that uh, uh, bounce is going to be a factor so when you're defending defend higher and if it's slightly short use that to your advantage then you can actually cut and pull of course these pitches are bouncier uh, but then uh, when the ball is to be played off the front foot the better shots the easier shots for especially for us indians uh, will be just play with the straight bat get to the pitch of the ball uh, it's not going to deceive you too much uh, with the spin off the surface uh, so that's what uh, these are the two differences and when you when you go over to Australia do you find the bowlers there the spinners bowl a little slower than what they would here in India mm. uh, see it, it depends on bowler to bowler is what I feel because there is an optimum speed that you should be bowling at uh, you may bowl at 85 kilometers or uh, uh, miles per hour Oh no, 85 kilometers per hour yeah. and uh, uh, somebody else might be more comfortable. Ravind Jadeja is comfortable at 92 kilometers per hour. Yeah. Uh, so I, I personally feel that when you're playing on a slow dusty pitch, the faster you bowl, the better it is. Uh, but faster within reason because if Ravi Chandra Nashwin starts bowling at 97, 98 uh, kmph, he loses accuracy. Uh, he'll start bowling fuller, he'll start bowling full tosses and it will not have the same venom. Uh, but uh, Ravindra Jadeja, if he goes too slow, because he's trying to get the drift in the air and the dip, etc., uh, he gets he gets uh, found out again because he doesn't have that accuracy unless he's bowling it as optimum pace, which is high 80s, early 90s. Uh, so that that's what uh, we tend to do. But uh, Nathan Lyon, one key difference that we feel is uh, uh, we find a lot of wrist spinners uh, in your country uh, because lack of assistance of the surface and the off spinners uh, and one off spinner who has been doing exceedingly well uses his body a lot uh, so you'll find body action uh, a lot more so you use the entire body to get uh, the ball to the net uh, to the other end uh, as opposed to in india where fingers are enough ashwin can bowl with his fingers and will spin a web but the same ashwin bowling with the fingers uh, in australia uh, will be struggling and he gets he slightly gets away with it because of his height whereas mm. today as you're trying to go slow doesn't get that overspin and it's so hard to adjust when it's been in your muscle memory for so long correct but akash Chopra, thanks very much for joining you, me again. Make sure you get on Akash's uh, YouTube channel and his Facebook channel as well. And uh, hope you learned a lot about playing spin on Australian conditions compared to Indian conditions. So if you like what I'm doing, get on that little bell downstairs and that will give you a notification when the next video is coming out. Enjoy your cricket.